In this video I will show how to get access to the weather data so we can get the numbers for the direct normal radiation and diffuse horizontal radiation that we need for running the daylight simulation directly from Revit in the cloud. Back in Revit one method is by running a simulation it could either be with a conceptual mass or for a whole building and enable the model. Before you can get access to the weather data and run the energy simulation we need to be logged in with an Autodesk account so we can use this energy analysis and use Green Building Studio. But before you run the simulation you need to specify your location because the location that defined what is the amount of solar radiation specific for that spot so by going to energy settings for example and location here we can specify the location either we could write in an address or so in this case it's Lyngby so I could search on that and find Lyngby as an address if not we need to find a nearby city and when we have specified that we press OK and OK for the energy settings and then we run the simulation here we need to specify a name and a project but this, this is not important for this kind of task we want to achieve we would just want to have the weather data so I just call it something logic and continue and then if we press on result and compare then we will open this window where we can select our project when it's finished click on open then we can get access to green building studio where we need to get the weather data from. This is the interface of Green Building Studio where the simulation actually takes place. So we have our building we just simulated. We're not that interesting in the numbers. We're only interested in the weather data and we can access that, that by clicking on weather data over here. Then we come to this window. It's just another tab. We have the run list over here that we started at and here we actually can see the different summary of this specific climate. You want to look into the different data and there's the weather frequency with the temperature and so on and we have the wind roses if we want to look at some of these or design conditions but what we're interested in that is downloading this weather file so we go to download weather data select the csv comma file here and then it will start downloading this text file the next step is to import this into a spreadsheet it could be like google drive for example or it could be excel so i'll just open a new sheet here create spreadsheet go to file and say import select upload and then it asks for a file from your computer and i'll do that searching to the right place where it's downloaded typically it is in downloaded files if you're unsure what the name of this file is then it's gbs for green building studio and this then this number that define the location and say open and then we'll upload this text file then you can select insert new sheets this is not that important but this part is important separation character that is how the file is divided up and you should choose comma and say import and here we have all the numbers it's a huge list, list of different numbers with different types of values so I will just select everything and maximize all the rows so we can see what's written in the text and then I go to data for filter but first I just need to select that row I want to filter from data filter and now we can decrease the amount of data by first saying which month are we looking at clear I want to look at June the 21st so this is all the days and hours in June and maybe also decrease the days clear saying okay we want to have the 21st take a couple of days before and after to get a more average press ok the hours I want to look at 12 o'clock so I could clear everything and select 12 and then we get the data for the 19th to the 23rd at 12 o'clock and then we can see there is a small variation of the direct normal radiation as well as the diffuse horizontal radiation in this file we can also see the sky cover the temperature 
and other stuff like wind speed, humi humidity, but the only thing we are interested in that is this part for running the daylight simulation. So now I can put these numbers in manually when running the daylight simulation that is shown in another video on how to do that and present the result afterward.